Okay, back here for sideboarding in our red black vampires against blue black reanimator, and it looks a little uneven. <laughs> <laughs> Although, given how lopsided the first two games, I am not particularly surprised. From my side, I am bringing in better cards to match up and disrupt Michael's game plan. We've got All Star in Dress, can stop Necromantic Summons, take a key. Uh, card draw spell or just a removal spell on the early turns hopefully get out ahead and Obnix list it will help us play into the mid game and give us an extra removal spell for any large creatures especially Olivia which I apparently can't kill 5-5 uh, yeah, uh, Olivia is really tough to beat out of the blue black reanimator deck yeah. and then Sinister Concoction uh, just a better removal spell against Michael's threats I've cut some of the removal spells that don't match up as well. I would like to cut all the fiery tempers, but Jace does not allow me to do so. It's too good. So I've left in a few. And then Drana, I think it just uh, is a little bit slow, and I'm not going to be able to get a lot of value given how much disruption is in the reanimator deck. So I've cut some of my uh, my slowest creature when I'm bringing in some five drops, and I think uh, the two weakest creatures in the deck, which are Ravenous Bloodseeker and Zerko, I have shaved a copy of each of those uh like ross said not interested in overboarding with my deck too much uh just on the draw i want to bring an additional removal spell on grass of darkness uh dragon lord Solemgar is good at brick walling some of his high impact flyers like uh olivia and olivia mobilized for war and also incorrigible use the three five lines up pretty nicely against that card um could also be an option if theoretically ross brings in omnixilis and plays that i could uh trump it and Draw's Masterpiece is not the best defensive creature. It's kind of expensive. Um, it's really more of an additional threat uh, to go over the top of other mid-range control decks. Um, maybe the deck just can't afford to cut this many uh, discard outlets. So to be seen, I might have, have to bring in another Masterpiece. But for now, we'll try this out. Come back for the post-sideboard games. Okay, back here for game three, and my draw has a good start, but it's going to need a little bit of help to back that up, but I will still keep. Uh, Mulligan is six over here, but I am pretty pleased with this hand as far as six cards go, so it's great. Yep. And I'll keep that on top. And we'll play a Foreboding Ruins and Reveal a Mountain. Yep. You can go. Wow. That is a very foreboding play, Ross. I have a mountain. I will reveal a swamp. Okay. Your turn. That was a good draw. That's a good draw. I'll play an Heir of Falconrath. Okay. You can go. I'll play a Swamp, because I revealed it. And Jace, your turn. Okay. I now have a couple options, and I'm just going to jam. I'll discard to flip. Oh, gosh. Madness of the Youths. Okay. Bash for seven. That's pretty good. That's what your deck's supposed to do, right? I know. Thirteen. Okay, I'm going to play an island. I will loot. I will just the win this and deadweight this. Your turn. The reason I did that is we can still leave up both of these, but I felt like that was the best way to kind of disrupt mm -hmm. Ross's draw there. I will play an Olivia. Okay. You can go. Interesting. Do you not want to let that thing get out of control, so. Um for now I'm just going to grasp this and pass the turn. I'll play a Bloodseeker, discard Manus of Youths. Yep. Bash for four. I'll loot and just the win this. You can go. Good lord. Um. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I will play a Mind Wreck Demon. One, two, three. Four, your turn. So you have land, instant, enchantment. Uh, Do you have sorcery? No, I have three types right now. I do have a creature, actually. So I have four types. Uh, 
Swaki. Uh, interesting hand here. Air. Yep. You can go. So I know youths, and that's it? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to pass the turn. Flip and play a youths. I'll respond with to the slot. And yes, your turn. Just go. Sorry. You didn't hear anything. Dress you. All right, I'll to the slaughter you in response. I have enough mana that I really don't need to band us a bunch of cards. And so a 3-1 is actually the worst card I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just going to draw land necromantic summons. Uh, hopefully. Um... I think, uh, I think I'm going to hold this because if I empty my hand to play it, then I can't draw a concoction to kill a demon. So I'll pass. Okay, I'm still not really interested in flipping Jace because I want it to live. That was good. Oath of Jace. Because I, I want it to live and transform, hopefully. And if Ross uh, just never taps out, that's also fine, because it just gives me more draws at stuff like Oath of Jace or Necromantic Summons. Discard two Atarkas, shockingly. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Duress you. Alright. A Grasp and an Atarka. Okay. You can go. Yeah, I'm just happy again to keep playing this game since... I think we are a favorite as far as this uh, play pattern is concerned. I'll loot. Yep. Okay. Because we drew this, I'm willing to now take this supposed risk. And I don't think there's any reason not just discard a Tarka. Let's see. So I can... to the Slaughter Ross and leave up Grasp. I can tick up and play my second Jace. That seems reasonable to me. I'll tick up on Air and play Jace and pass the turn. Hmm. This isn't going very well. You have two cards? Two cards. And I know one of them is Grasp. Yes. And if I two for one myself to deal with the demon, then you just have two Jaces against my air and a Grasp. I might be able to beat that if I can start applying some pressure and your draws are bad. But if I just sit here for too long, your deck is way too powerful. I basically just can't beat a summons, so I have to somehow kill you before that happens. So I will um, attack you. All right, I'll block, and then four damage, I'll grasp this. Sure. I'm playing Corals of Beliefs. Yep. You can go. Scry one, bottom the land. Draw. And I will tick down and grasp your flyer. Your turn. I 
That's a good draw. Obnixilis. Yep. Minus three on the demon. Yep. Attack Jace. Um. Yep. You can go. During my upkeep, I'll activate. Discard Island, Transform, Scry, I will bottom the land, draw, I'll flash back to the slaughter and kill both your things. And I'll play an island, so you go. Uh, we're having a spot seeker. Yep. Discard, fire, temper your Jace. Yep. You can go. Okay, we dealt Play with all those things. Mind Rack Demon. Ugh. Two, three, four. And. Pass. I haven't hit a temple right. Nope. Sinister Concoction. So I pay life, go to 19, mm -hmm. mill the top card, sweet, discard a card, sacrifice this, yep. uh, attack for one. 12. You can go. Uh, I guess I'll deadweight this. <laughs> and go ahead. 2 1. Yep. You can go. Deadweight that. <laughs> go. You can go. Oop, poor of the pages. Yeah, that's not good. All right, draw three. Untap two. Discard a swamp. Play Jace. Pass the turn. Uh, you can go. Upkeep. Activate. Discard swamp. Transform. Scry one. Uh, keep that draw. I will corpse churn. One finally hit the summons. I was hoping to just see three summons. <laughs> and then I'll return a I see you have Jace, so. Yeah. I'm actually getting a little low on cards. Maybe I don't want the mine rack demon. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen cards. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the mine rack demon. Just get a Jace. Oh Necromatic summons a Tarka and kill your thing. And go ahead. Bam, right on time. <laughs> uh go. Scry, I will keep that. Um, attack you for 10. 9. Tick up on Olivia. Play Jace. Pass the turn. Play Asylum Visitor. Yep. Discard. Yep. Attack Jace. Just the window. Replay it. Yep. So is it the beginning yeah. of my upkeep you draw? You each player's upkeep. If that player has no cards in okay. hand, I draw a card. So it's dependent play. on the player. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I just flash this back attack you. You figured it out. 